fam, Tasha Mom Bear Prepping. So welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Um, I just wanna say thank you for supporting me and we're just gonna get into this crazy topic. So this is a pretty popular topic within our prepping community and that is making the decision and figuring out if you're gonna bug in or bug out and what scenarios really determine what you would do now i definitely feel a certain way about and very very strongly about bugging in and bugging out but what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you both sides of it today just so that you can get your minds going and then you can make up your mind and your plans to figure out kind of what you would do for your family um during whatever type of scenario it is, okay? So um, let's just talk about the difference. So bugging in and bugging out. That literally is just, are you sheltering and staying in place? Are you staying in your home? Or are you leaving? And leaving, I like to use the word evacuating. You have to evacuate, which means it's an emergency. Something emergent has happened that you have to evacuate your home, okay? And the pros and cons are very easy, you guys. You need food, water, shelter. And with your home, ideally, you have that. And if you've been prepping at all, that is your best case scenario in a lot of scenarios, the majority of them actually, because you have the food, the water, the supplies, the medicines, the whatever, right? And you have the natural defense of your home. The, the, and that's defense against other people, but that's also defense against elements and, and, and weather, okay? So um, there's lots to be thought through, okay? And with bugging out, obviously the con is you literally only have whatever you have in whatever you're taking with you, okay? And that looks a lot of different ways, you guys, okay? And there's a lot of different ways you can do that in regards to what you can take, but you're limited regardless, um, whether that's limited to what's in bags that you're carrying or if that's limited by what's maybe in your car um, and maybe what you plan to take. You know, there's a lot of like doomsday prepper videos, right? Where folks' plans was to bug out to another location um, but they spent like an hour, you know, they timed themselves to see how fast they could load up all this stuff that they would have to take with them. And it was just a grip of stuff, you guys, just cases and cases of food and water and animals and this and that. And, um, you know, in the scenarios that involve us having to flee our home and evacuate, you wouldn't, we wouldn't have time to just grab other stuff. We have a plan if we could of stuff that is priority to grab, to take with us, but you really need to think through what that looks like and if you have no time, if that, you know, you can plan all day, but if that plan goes south and you actually can't grab all that stuff, you know, what's plan B, okay? Now, then there's steps that I think are needed to help you determine if you're going to bug in or bug out. Now, that starts with emergency plans. First of all, that's the very first step. The very first step is making a list of all the said scenarios that you think that could happen to you, all the natural disasters, all the different prepping scenarios, if you will, shit hitting the fan scenarios. Just write it out on a piece of paper, all the things that you personally believe could happen. And then right next to them, you know, hey, would you leave or not? In the majority you will see, you will bug in. There is absolutely no reason to leave your home in the majority of scenarios, you guys, okay? But I'm not um, opposed that if you have a solid plan and that for the plan is to actually, you you don't keep the majority of your preps in your home and your, your absolutely plan is to bug out to said location, I'm going to just walk you through some questions that um, will help you determine your plan, okay? Because for us, for example, the only way we're leaving this place, you guys, is if we're forced out to evacuate because of fire, meaning the fire is upon us. We can't, whether that's a, a natural disaster fire or that's looters, marauders, people acting crazy and somehow our property where we live catches fire and, and we have to leave, okay? Um, we have to be prepared that that's a quick exit. Um, the next one, nuclear fallout. It has to be big, you guys. It has to be something that forces us to like health wise, we have to migrate. We have to leave because um, something so detrimental. But again, we live so south, we live so close to the coast that 
you know, there's only so many places we can go, okay? Um, if it hits anywhere near our area, LA area, you know, we're in some sort of radiation blast, you guys. And yes, we can migrate, but we, it might just be too late for us if, if we're still alive after initial blast, okay? Because of radiation, we're in a blast zone. And where do you go from there, okay? So, um, you know, unless you can get ahead of a lot of timelines, you somehow you get a tip, you're ahead of stuff, that's your best case scenario for having to bug out is that you somehow are a little bit ahead of people so that you can hit the road and and get to where you're gonna go uh, just even a little bit before other people will matter okay um what's some other okay and then like marauder takeover meaning somebody's at our doorstep a mob a group of people that we cannot physically fight off like it's just impossible we know from seeing we're just not going to be able to do it and that we need to flee because if we stay, that means we're going down uh, in, a, in a blaze of glory. Okay. Um, so you're going to make the decision utilizing your emergency plan, which you're going to do. Okay. What scenarios are going to determine you bugging out? Okay. And then you're going to make that decision. But I have a bunch of questions for you. Okay. And, and I'm saying these not to be a smart ass, but I'm saying these to get you thinking so that you implement the answers um, into your plan. So a lot of people have these bags, right? And the first thing I say is, oh my gosh, that's a cool bag. Where are you going? Where are you going with this bag? And a lot of people either don't know or they spit off some answer like, oh, I'm going to grandma's house or I'm going... I'm just gonna go east or I'm just gonna go north. Like they don't have a plan. It's not that they don't have somewhere to go, but they have not even thought it through to have a plan. So where are you going? Um, how are you getting there? How far away is it from where you live? And how far is it, let's just talk it through. You plan to drive there, okay. Do you already have the gas on hand? Do you have the gas cans? How much gas does it physically take for you to get from where you're at to your bug out location? And do you have that much gas on you already, you guys? Do you already have that amount of gas um, prepped, okay? Because if you don't, there's a, there's a good chance if shit hits the fan, you don't have the opportunity to get the gas needed to get somewhere. Okay, pl plan two, figure out how much gas you have. How far physically would that take you? Where do you end up at on the road uh, with no gas, when you run out of gas. Now, how far is it to your bug out location? Okay, now walking, how far is that walking distance now? Let's say the cars at uh, AMP or CME or something hits and the cars don't work at all. How long does it take to walk to your said uh, a bug out location? Okay, on feet. And let me just tell you, unless it's around the corner, you guys, you're talking about days and days and days and days to walk. Okay. And to be honest, the average person can't walk like that. Okay. Without stopping and taking a lot of breaks. And I'm talking breaks, like days worth of breaks. Like, Hey, we have to stop here for the day. Okay. Because people are the, the average person is not prepared to go walking for weeks and months to get to, you know, walking through States. Okay. Um, so those are just some questions to ask you, where are you going? How are you getting there? Um, do you have the gas needed for your car to get your car there? Um, do you know how long it takes to walk it? Okay. And then you have to build a bug out bag that, that, um, is for that plan, mostly food and water. Okay. If you have to now walk to three States away to grandma's house, like, you need to be thinking about how many days that takes walking and then how are you carrying that much food and water? And I don't want to hear no, I'm going to find food and water along the way. Okay. Is that possible? Yes. Are you willing to bet your survival and your life on it though? Okay. So you just need to be thinking um, when you're building a bug out bag, what you're building it for. What is it for? What are the things that you need? Food, water, shelter. Okay. Um, and be realistic about how far things away are. What happens if, okay, you're like, we're definitely bugging out because we have preps at a different location. Let's say it's only an hour away. That's a decent, um, okay, you know, end of the world walk. Um, and you go, 
right? And you're, you're like, I'm not, sta we're not staying. It's the city. We don't have a lot of preps here. Well, what happens when you get there and somebody has, you know, commandeered it? Somebody is there. Or let's say nobody's there, but somebody has already ran through the place and, you know, they knew you were kind of a prepper and they already like got your stuff. Like you just need to kind of think these plans through and have a plan A, B, and C. And don't just follow these other channels, right? These other preppers that are just telling you like this fantasy of you just need to bug out. For example, let's say we don't live in the city, but if I lived in the city, in a building, in a city, like New York City, downtown LA, um, Portland, Oregon, like a city, okay? Um, all the bad stuff happens when people bug out, okay? Dangerous stuff is happening right away. There is looting, there's, there's people getting hurt. And if I'm a prepper and let's say I live in a building in an apartment, I'm bugging in you guys. I'm still doing what I just said I'm gonna do is I'm bugging in and I'm staying there because my food is there, my water is there, my protection from weather, my protection defense wise is the best that it can possibly get where I'm at, okay? And I'm not leaving unless that building is like on fire, right? Or there's looters or something, okay? Now, at, at that point, I probably have a plan for any kind of looting to protect myself or maybe to leave, but then be able to come back, you know, hide somewhere to be able to come back to my apartment. I don't know. That's a whole other emergency plan. Um, but to think that you're just going to grab a bag and get out of the city, I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying have a realistic plan of how you're going to do that and know now how long that takes and the most important question, where are you going? And where is another location that you can go? You should have a plan A, plan B, plan C, okay? You shouldn't just be going in the dark or, or putting all your eggs in one basket and going to one location, um, you know, and decisions will be made, you know? You'll make up your mind of, hey, maybe the plan is to bug out, but then all of a sudden you realize the, the streets are way too dangerous and, you know, people are, are getting pulled over and gunpoint so that they can get looted for food, water, their gas, whatever the case may be. Yes, you might have some defense stuff, but sometimes it is beyond your control. It is, it, there is such a thing as a little too much um, and, and to be overpowered. And so you have to be make common sense moves that are going to keep your family safe um, and, and then, you know, implement well, not even implement, but adapt to what is happening, okay? Said scenario, right? Now, let me just look at my notes, you guys, to just make sure that I hit everything that I wanted to hit. Okay, yep. Uh, I think, too, my, my, my opinion, too, is the way I see bugging in and bugging out is bugging in, for the most part, is a sure bet, right? It's a sure thing because... I, I already know what I have here, you know, and there is some scenarios that I have to worry about, like defending my myself and my family and our in our in our home, and we're prepared for that. Um, but as soon as we walk out the door, all types of variable variables get added to the game plan. Stuff that is totally out of our control, and it's a crapshoot. You know, we we do not know what's going to happen the minute we walk out that door, and we are absolutely taking risk. And it really depends on the emergency plan that you made. It's absolutely vital that you start this decision with an emergency plan. What's the scenarios that would drive you from your home? And know, and your family knows. Like we know, we talk about it all the time. Um, everybody here knows the exact things that would drive us from this home, how we how we would exit the home because there's certain things that, you know, we only have one door, for example. Um, so there's certain things that we know we have to do. So let's just say we're being overtaken by marauders or something. They're they are they're not coming through the, the to, through the door immediately, but they're gonna make it through. And there's too many of them. We have exit plans. We know where we're going. I mean, we're going through walls, you guys. Okay, but we know what we're doing. Okay, a fire. We know we have to leave. So now it becomes we're forced to leave. Okay. 
Um, maybe it's not crazy outside, so we're just forced to leave. So what's the plan? Do we have enough gas? Do you know how much gas it takes? We're, we have a home in Washington. That's a far walk. That's days and days and days and days and days, okay? And for the car, you know, that's not enough to get us where we need to go, okay? So that means we are going as far as we can. Yes, can we try to siphon gas? But I want people to be realistic and not just take things from TV shows and movies and just think that the things that they saw in the movies are just easy to do and that they're gonna be fine, okay? It's gonna be dangerous. And at any time, you know, you could be taken out for your stuff, whatever it is you have on you, okay? Anytime there's somebody in the bushes on that road sniping people for their for the stuff in their bags, okay? They don't, they're not gonna care, all right? You're gonna have people who are gonna be trying to stop cars and get cars to stop any way they can so that they can take whatever is in that car or take that gas, okay? Again, if you can get ahead of stuff, great. I mean, the overall goal would be Make your home be where your bug out location, your ideal bug out location should be your home. So, you know, if where you're living right now today is not it, you should be striving to get to that location. Like for us, an apartment in Southern California is absolutely not where we're trying to be, okay? But we're in the military. We're trying to figure out and get done with our careers. We're at the end, but we obviously have to finish out contracts, right? So we're, we're trapped in a sense. We cannot leave, okay? Uh, the government owns us still and and we are uh, in a situation where we are planning, we have plans, we have dreams, hopes, uh, but we can't execute them quite yet. So if you're in the same situation, the game plan should be what is the ideal bug out location and that is where you and your family are moving to long term. If it's homesteading, get to that homesteading location and start digging in, right? Get your defenses, figure out your game plan for having to um, evacuate that place, but come back to it, hiding food, hiding water on your property. Um, I mean, there's there's a thousand things you can do to get prepared ahead of any kind of situation. And um, again, you'll build your emergency plans to, to cover down everything. But again, we wouldn't be leaving that location unless, you know, it's on fire or nuclear fallout or something crazy like that. Okay, there's a lot of things that could happen and we would stick we would stay here even like an earthquake the big one unless this building's falling down we're, i mean we're we're digging in you guys this is where everything's at right now um we have stuff in different locations of where we would go because obviously we have a thousand plans we have plan a b d c e f g i mean we have a lot of um plans okay because we're big on adapting so i would love to hear in the comments below hopefully this video oh yeah this video wasn't too bad um let me know in the comments below what your plan is how do you feel about bugging in bugging out um what are the scenarios that you know for a fact you're gonna bug out to um have you thought about the timeline how far away it is if you had to drive it how far away is it if you had to drive it and then walk the rest or god forbid you had to walk the whole way um, what does that look like? How do you do that with your family? Um, and how many days that, does that will that take realistically? And then how do you plan to have the food and water necessary to get your family from point A to point B in that situation safely? Okay, so I know this is a big topic. I know that it's very controversy. I know what I will do, um, you know, 98% of the time we're bugging in. Um, but hopefully I gave a little bit of both sides and at least got anybody who is planning to just, I'm, a, I'm bugging out to think through their plan so that you can make that plan a little bit tighter and be thinking about the plan A, B, and C should that initial bug out plan, you know, not work. Okay. Um, but I'm excited about the comments on this one. So I will see you guys on the next video. Take care and have a blessed day.